this week is really ending the way it started for Donald Trump, which is with his campaign in some level of chaos. We saw Paul Manafort, who was the second head of the Trump campaign, resign. He did so under some pressure. He has been under pressure both in the sense that Trump has just not been happy with the way that his campaign has been going the last few weeks, but also Manafort has been the subject of numerous news stories, including by the Associated Press, about work that he has done in Ukraine on behalf of pro-Russian uh, parties there. So really the combination of factors led to Manafort saying that he was no longer going to be part of this effort. And this, of course, comes after two people were already essentially put ahead of him in the pecking order in the campaign. So no surprise there, but it is just never a good thing to be at this stage of a general election and have someone who was really so crucial to your planning for election day suddenly just not there anymore. Trump is really trying this week to put a new face forward on his campaign. You saw him give three scripted speeches, which is pretty unusual for this candidate who likes to do these more freewheeling rallies. And then you've seen him today go to Louisiana, where they've had just this horrible flooding. And there's a couple reasons for him going to do this. One is he's trying to take advantage of a political opportunity that's created by the fact that President Obama has not gone to Louisiana. Trump saw an opportunity to show that he perhaps cares more than the president, which is the message he's trying to, to show. But he also is trying to just look presidential. He's trying to give people an image that is different than what they might see on TV from, from Trump. In Hillary Clinton's America, the system stays rigged against Americans. Syrian refugees flood in. Trump has done his first campaign ad of the general election. This comes after Hillary Clinton's campaign has just flooded the airwaves in battleground states with millions of dollars in ads. This is really getting to the core, though, of the Trump campaign. It's focused on immigration. When all else fails in Trump world, you go back to immigration. It's really the issue that he feels comfortable with, and it's really what he sees as the centerpiece of his campaign. But it's, it's new in the sense that Trump has not done this on the air in the general election in this way, in this packaged way, in targeted uh, communities in certain battleground states. So the campaign says that it'll be the first of, of, of more ads to come. Uh, but, but it's important for Trump to both be saying these things on the campaign trail, in interviews, and then backing them up in his television ads.